Hey everyone, I'm back, and I finally got something new to show you after these many months. And that is this simple delayed minecart stop. It sounds like what it really is. The car comes along this track, uh, comes along to a stop on this soul sand here, and it waits for a few seconds for the person to get out if they so choose. And after those few seconds are up, the cart departs automatically, just as you saw there. Now this minecart stop is based on Seth Pling's improved subway style minecart station, which I've provided a link on the screen there, but it comes with one big difference, and I'll get on the ground here to show you. And that big difference is this one block drop. So unfortunately this minecart stop uh, is not totally flat, and it's not the subway style as you would say it, but uh, the advantages of this one block drop is that I can reduce the amount of pistons I need. I've only got two pistons here that make the minecart stop work. And it also re uh, greatly simplifies the redstone circuitry that surrounds this stop. Um, so this lower piston down here uh, extends this power track onto the soul sand, allowing the cart to depart. And this top piston here uh, retracts this top track, allowing this bomb track to not become slanted. I'll show you what happens when I remove this piston. You'll see there the track became slatted because it's connect, trying to connect this bottom track uh, under this glass block and this track over here. Which is, and because the, we have a glass block here, the cart bumps into it and can't depart. So I'll just uh, put this piston back and uh, restart the timer here. Uh, now in terms of the redstone, I'll fly back here and you'll see that it's pretty simple. I've only got these two redstone torches and this block powering these two pistons. Uh, in addition to, of course, the, all these, uh, this chain of redstone repeaters that are triggered by the, this detector track up here, which is triggered by the cart when, it just, when it's just about to stop. I can also put in a little bit of redstone connecting the, to this note block, and this will warn the player when the cart is about to depart. So I just get on here. Go ding, depart, and go around again, get out, go ding again, and there we go. So that's about all I can show you here. Now I'm going to show you how to build this uh, Minecraft stuff for yourself from scratch. Alrighty, so to begin, place down a block of soul sand to indicate where you want to have the cart stop place a few blocks to put in your bottom and top pistons, like so. And next to these pistons, put in the powered rails. Also place the another powered rail after the stop itself, and on top of that exit rail, uh, you want to put in some additional blocks, like so. So what will happen is the card will come in this direction and hit this glass block and fall down on the soul sand which is what you want. Alright, so next thing we can do is do the redstone back here. Uh, place that block there. Place the redstone torch and the torch. That looks good there. And then, to feed into this torch, you want to put in... I'm going to actually dig out a trench. So, to put in your redstone repeaters. That'll be fed by this coming track, which I'm extending out. Hard rail here, regular rail, now detector rail, regular rail, powered, and I'm not going to make this into a loop, just like in the, the demonstration, but uh, I'll just make it into a simple launcher that'll be powered by a button. So I'm going to get a button here. Alright, so that'll power this track down here. Make sure the rest of these are powered. Uh, uh, for these two powered rails, you don't need to make them uh, powered. You can actually make them regular. But I like to put a redstone torch right here. And on top of that redstone torch, put a block. Like so. And that'll power these tracks all the time. Okay, so, whoa. And uh, now, next thing, uh, let's put in our redstone repeaters. So, I, I like to put them into a spiral formation because that's the most space efficient way. Uh, it allows you to put it. Put them maximum amount of repeaters to your spiral. Increase your delay. Basically what I'm doing is putting the redstone dust on the corners of my spiral as it goes out and 
register repeaters on everything else that isn't a quorum. So there we go, feed it into the piston power there. And I also need to increase the delay of all these repeaters by, so it's uh, 0 0.4 seconds per register repeater. Okay, uh, one last thing, I can also put in the note block see, to warn the player that they're about to depart. And you'll want to make, uh, below the note block, you'll have to make it a dirt block or an air block so that um, it'll make a, the piano noise. Okay, so I think got the note block. Uh, oh, one last thing we can add. Uh, to secure your, uh, help secure your uh, minecart stop, you can put in a iron door that's powered by a pressure plate so that people can't get inside once they've left. So I'll actually I'll put another block here. So when a person arrives here, they can go out the left here and uh, they can't get back in. Uh, additionally, you can also, you'll probably want to also put in a few more blocks sur surrounding the minecart stop so people can't uh, start filling around with the mechanics there. Well, okay, finally I'll put in an exit track here so we can get out. And I think we're ready to go. So I will fly over here, grab myself a minecart. That's, that's not a minecart, it's a brick. <laughs> and here we go. Let's do this. Push the button. Success. And all right, so there you have it. Um, I'll be using this, uh, probably this minecart stop in my next version of the minecart rapid transit station, version 4. Uh, so, but in the meantime, uh, have fun with this and uh, let me know of any comments. Uh, and so thanks for watching and have a nice day.